<clears throat> all right so here we go and we are now going to see how to turn that picture which we had a little bit earlier into what you see right here so in other words if you thought this was a pretty picture look at what that's going to do to it so we're basically going to throw a frame around it uh, there's also some uh, cardboard here with some paper texture the matte cutter is basically what we use and it's accessible right here on the image the image menu has a new feature in PD Pro 5 called Frame Your Work. So let's see how that goes. Um, we're going to start from scratch. We're going to, um, let's see, here we have a snapshot of the original image. If you click it, it will just place it right around here. That's not what we need. But let's go and actually create a new image for this. Um, I think it was something like a 640 by 480. I may be wrong. Wouldn't be the first time. Oh, there it is. This time, I guess this proves the exception. So what we want to do is basically now throw a wooden frame around it. And this is how easy it is. You go to frame your work. There you go. And immediately you get the matte cutter, which is a new plugin that comes with PD Pro. And you can choose among many different textures. There's lots of gradients to choose from. It will remember the most recently chosen one. So if you happen to like this particular layout or that one you can get back to that pretty quickly and give that same decorative look to many different images that you throw at it um, i will choose one perhaps one more let's see a few i thought i had an interesting one that i liked perhaps something like that there you go next thing i want to do though is also change the size of it so here's the size i'm going to give it one two three there you go invert the frame that's a nice little inverted look and I will now also add a texture to it wood grain antique or sponge let's go with wood grain and immediately we get some additional choices uh, scale uh, the wave uh, let's see the sign all sorts of different options for that wood grain and the intensity let's give it a little bit more let's give it 35 uh, the scale we're good let's go and now work on the size of the gray part that you see here and we'll make this a little bit bigger and then the size of the light white part will make that smaller so we'll reduce this one let's say to 40 and we'll increase this one to 100 so as we do this it will readjust the proportions of everything um, then we have one more thing we have a foam core we can add a little bit of uh, um, different color here for these uh, edges and then we can also add some paper texture on this gray area now this paper texture also has additional options and one of them is of course the intensity of it let's give it a, a little bit more here 38 39 something like that there you go you can of course change the paper texture also whatever your current texture is should be what it picks up um, and that's basically it you know now when you click OK what it's going to do is it's not going to change the size of your image it's going to add space around it so that it can fit the newly created um, wooden frame around it and you click OK and in a heartbeat you're going to have just that so let's go and look at it 100% that's the full size fit it in that's just viewing it in such a way that you can see it all and you're done you know at this point save this out to a beautiful uh, JPEG or uh, other image and uh, run this through your slideshow it's a great way to add some depth to uh, you know something like an iPad if you want to do a little slideshow or a desk desktop magic you know imagine those uh, digital picture frames that some of them have very simple frames around it a very simple uh, container and uh, you'd like to perhaps give it a little bit more depth so that's actually a great way to do that well hope you like it this is a quick intro to the new feature called frame your work or the matte cutter bye